Hello everyone, this is Roan from TCB. Today we're going to be talking about the Basilisk, which is one of my favorite ships, and how to properly fly it as a support ship in a fleet. Now the Basilisk really only has one job in a fleet, and that is to kill frigates. I like to set mine up on a tower about an hour before the op and hunt incoming scouts just to usually be a massive inconvenience. I'm going to basically be focusing on how to do that properly today. All of the techniques I'm going to show you in this video carry over to an actual fleet scenario, in which case you'll be flying it just like you would fly the Vulture, with a warp in, kill frigate, warp out, rather than using a debuff like you would in the Vulture. It's the same hit and run concept though. Of course, like any support ship, you don't want to have your sync fleet warp on. You're going to be coming in onto the grid after the FC has called that there are frigates for you to hit. If you land on grid first, you're just going to be shot down and doesn't help anybody. So once you have your Basilisk set up on the tower, you're going to patiently wait for the scouts to come in. Once the scout lands, you should begin your spamming of the energy neutralizer and approach. I go approach first as soon as I'm in range energy newt, and then you hit your warp scram. This is because the mist's first reaction is going to be to attempt to cloak before you shoot it down, and the energy null is going to prevent that. Once you have the null off, go ahead and hit your warp scram and your thrusters to close the range. If you have your super device, hit that before you hit the gun, as it slows the ship down, making it even easier to hit. If you don't, it's not a huge problem. Your guns will take it down in one to two volleys. On a final note, before we get to the clip where I demonstrate all of this in action, you'll notice I have my ship pointed at a warp out spot and that pre-selected. That way, if a group of ships comes in that isn't, you know, one or two mists, I can get out of there quickly. And we'll go into more detail on how to escape with this later on. Target locked on. Approaching target. Approaching target. As you can see, the scout didn't stand any semblance of a chance. So now we're going to cover how to escape. It's exactly the same thing as in a vulture. You're just going to fly calmly in the direction of your warp out point until you get out of range and you're going to leave. Keep in mind when you're on these towers you probably have been spotted already and they're going to be trying to kill you. Always expect the ambush and always be ready to respond to it. They have been trying to hunt me for the past 30 minutes. They've been doing a very awful job at it. Oh look, the mist is approaching me. Oh look, here comes Starting his reinforcements. Oh look, here starts my warp drive. Oh shit, he actually got me. Okay. Oh, uh, you just... <laughs> Rip, Berlin. Nah, I'm good. Oh, you got him. The right? Or... Or... Starting warp engine. And I'm going to leave now. Starting warp engine. <laughs> So as you can see there, I got out of that with literally no problem whatsoever. I honestly probably could have taken out that other mist, but I didn't want to chance it. The next clip is a similar situation, except a bit more dangerous for me. My ship does in fact almost go down. I apologize for the um, commentary over the clip. I was in a fleet at the time and we were idly chatting as I was doing this. I hope he tries what he just tried to get. Is he really? Approaching target. What is he doing? Going after you or what? Oh. Now what he thinks he's doing. The end in about 20 seconds though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> As he was just finding a warp in for a celestial. Yeah, argument. didn't work. Oh, it did work actually. He still has me disrupted. I hate that shit. Oh, another missed. He's got a blackjack. He actually might get me in this one. That might be one of the few ships on God's Green Earth that can keep up with me. Hmm, looking good for him. Starting warp engine. Starting warp engine.
Uh, who's that coming in there? Starting warp engine. Oh, why did somebody come in to try to help? No. Starting commencing. I'm fine. Don't, don't fall for it. As you can see, maintaining an alignment point and always keeping up your speed is your best chance at staying alive and getting out of range of anything that could shoot you down. Unfortunately, a fellow courtmate did try to swoop in and save the day, and for his trouble, he was supered by a celestial and immediately destroyed. So that's basically everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please have fun with that ship. If you have any questions, you can find the Discord link at the bottom as always. Feel free to hop on by, ask anything you need, and as always, fly dangerous.